So I'm on one of the more highly anticipated boats here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, the Mystique 48. First off, check out the V12 Mercury Marine 600s in the back, pushing this boat up to 65 miles an hour. Now I want you to jump on board and take a look around with me. So they have the faux teak logo there on the transom, which always gives this a classy style. The real teak up on the cap, 240 gallon live wells and a huge fish box down the center. We can take a peek at this one just so you can take a look inside. Aquarium glass in the front. Really nicely done. Check out how much cockpit space you have on this 48 Mystique. 14 feet of beam. This monster holds 750 gallons of fuel and does about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 miles per gallon at 40 miles an hour. Nice, rear, nice forward facing bench seat that can tuck out of the way if you want to do some fishing. You got your rocket launcher right here access to your bilge, which I'm gonna pop open right now to take a closer look. I'm pulling this thing up, it's gas shock, so I can pull it up with rocket launcher on and everything, and just look at the massive size of this thing. You can put a Sea Keeper 6 if you were to want it. They say you don't need it. The boat is very stable with this variable dead rise hull bottom. You got your generator, holds 40 gallons of diesel, 40 gallons of wastewater, so could not get any more comfortable to get in and work in your bilge area than this. So right here, you got your rear facing mezzanine seat with some storage behind it. We got a bunch of koozies here at the boat show. I can get this out of the way, lift up the seat right here and we have an ice maker. So you can fill that all up with ice and you're gonna ask me what this piece is. Tucked below it, you have your tackle station for your Plano boxes. You can hide all your stuff, keep it dry, keep it on the boat and keep you ready to go at any time. Look above, you got your Garmin MFD facing backwards, some Lumitex spreader lights, Garmin camera, and now we're gonna walk around and check out the helm. We have your refrigerator on both sides, loaded up with whatever refreshments you'd like, so it's there when you need it. And then I'm gonna pop open one of these fish boxes so you can take a look inside. We got an XL bucket right there standing straight up so you can get a good idea of the depth and the overall length of this thing. Very respectable, good size fish box. Now we're gonna actually get to the helm. One thing I wanted to mention, this hull number one is actually cold molded. So this is the first hull. They're gonna actually create a mold from the hull, but the entire interior is meant to be built out exactly to the spe specifications of each owner. So there will not be molds as of right now for this console. You can do a walk around model, an express model. Use the hull to your imagination, to your use, to your style with your family. So here in the helm area, I'm gonna show you, it gives you a real sport like, sport fish like feel with the helm pod, teak helm pod, steering wheel, got your Garmin MFDs 22s switch panel. You got your joystick that has the integrated bow thruster, so it'll spin this thing on a dime. Storage space, cup holders, nice enclosure, scan strut, iPhone chargers or phone chargers, Garmin VHFs, and just a really good feel on a big solid boat. So just giving this thing some wax, it's, it's incredibly solid. And one thing that we noticed looking under the cap is that they completely finished this thing all the way through. You see the LED lighting going down that, cleats tucked underneath, really has that sport fish look and feel. Now we're gonna jump inside the console cabin to take a look around here. Keith tells us this thing is about 85% that we're just pushing to get to the boat show. Honestly, I don't even see it. It looks spectacular down here. If you look forward, you have a nice dining area and obviously this table drops down, turning this into a full forward berth. Got your own little bar. I think they set up specifically for us, I'm not sure. You have your sink, little kitchenette, microwave, drawer space for storage, refrigerator, and then a tucked away head and shower. And actually, if you look at this panel right here, it has two parts to it. So they actually created this so you can utilize this as storage. If you need to get back to your rigging, uh, just pop out those screws and you have great access to it, but you can utilize that space in the meantime. So they have two little sunroof here, um, one up top and one up front. And basically this is a safety feature. God forbid some child is gonna be locked in the cabin and a fire breaks. You never want to even think about it, but this is an easier way to jump up on that table or the forward berth and actually be able to escape. This is connected so the piece is never gonna fly out. And then ultimately this is a great lounger to provide some forward seating up here. Cup holders, rounded, nice curves throughout, forward seating. And again, once you get to the bow, and just wanted to remind you, you can configure this thing however you guys want. So this is just hole number one and what they decided to do. And look at this windlass system. They got this drum in here, which if you've used enough windlass systems, you know that they kink the line, you know, you gotta play with it too much and you end up hand cranking it half the time. With this apparatus, 
you'll never have to do that again. So I really like seeing that a lot more that we've been seeing it in some of these larger boats that have the space. And this Mystique 48 right here is definitely one you're gonna wanna see. So lastly, we're gonna jump off board and gonna show you a bit of that flare from little pier that we see up front. Let's go check that out. Before we show you the bow, we wanted to show you another exterior look. You can see the sleek look and how they designed the piping. And it really looks, again, like a sport fish combined with a modern center console. And they did a great job tying all that together. You can see the teaser reels up top, the outriggers, the lighting. This thing must look absolutely gorgeous at night. Now let's go ahead and check out that bow. Well, the final point we wanted to show is the bow. Just check out that Carolina flare, absolutely gorgeous. And just check out the size off the water. So this thing should crush some heavy seas and hopefully the next time we get on it, it'll be offshore so we can really test her out.